everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Portland Open presented by Latitude 64. We're here, round two, back nine, at the Glendivere Disc Golf Course West Side. I'm Rebecca Cox. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're Coxcomb commentary. We're doing it. Deal um, with it. I Googled, deal with it. I Googled it. Coxcomb is a great low maintenance plant that offers a huge burst of color and thrives in warm temperatures. And I think that describes us perfectly. Oh, 100%. Yes. We are watching Chris Natar absolutely annihilate Tear the front line. Jeez. Bogey free five down. Sayanada two down. Tie for second with Juliana Corver, who has shot a five down through 10 so far. Missy Gannon in a tie for fifth. Even par. Hannah Wynn um, sliding back a bit at two over with a tie for seventh. I do think, personally, there are a few more birdies on the back than the front, but lots of danger as well. Here we have hole 10, 585 feet par four. That Mando actually does come into play quite well because the drive, getting yourself to have an open up shot to this basket is very difficult. There's an OB line on the right side, so you want to be able to push the distance without going too far right or too far left early. Kristen with a rive here. Really great shot. Yeah, and there's a little bit of wind out there as well. I think when you're unsure about what the wind is doing, that fast overstable rive shot is great because it's just a disc that you know is going to come back. Yeah, you know exactly what's going to happen. Sai gets caught up pretty early. It's super easy to do. This is such a difficult birdie. This was another one that we only saw a couple of birdies on yesterday. Missy with a nice thrasher rip. I think it's because there's just not a super obvious route on the second shot. Hannah turns this one over too much. She's going to be out of bounds. I like the width that Hannah gave it. You just seem to utilize a more overstable yeah, disc, I think. Just and his angle just wasn't quite right. Maybe wrong disc selection. Sorry, scooting it up there to the opening. Yeah, she's within 100 feet, it looks like. It is kind of nice on this right side. You have a few more options if you want to go all the way around. Go around it. Yeah, okay. Solid shot there from Hannah. She's in circle two. Now she'll have a long look at par. Missy, is she going left side? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Cool. Yeah, well, those trees right there are just, Beautiful. I think, inside just the edge of the circle. Yeah, she'll definitely have a putt. I haven't seen anyone go that way. <laughs> she kind of shrugs, like, yeah. Yeah, well, the ceiling's so low. Mm hmm Person trying to go around all the right side trees, get some skips. Oh, weird. Yeah. I it's like, perfect. <laughs> I like how she kind of kept it low to the ground, letting it skip up that hill. Sai with a nice floaty upshot into the just outside the bullseye. Yeah, great touch. Sai and Hannah are both very good at these little standstill shots. Fine. It's virtually impossible to save the par on this hole if you go be off the drive. Yeah. It's kind of the thing about a lot of these holes out here. <sighs> Missy loves it. She wants it. to walk she it in so bad. It. She has to, it has to connect at one point. They're all very close. Kristen for the best chance for the birdie on the card to get her first turkey of the round. Comes up just short. And there are actually only two birdies on this hole, Ella Hansen and Holland Hanley. Yeah, difficult hole. Bombers, uh -huh. both bombers. It's a good one. It's played as the fifth most difficult. Hannah gonna take the bogey. Everyone else just gonna clean up their pars. Kristen tapping in the par. Moving on to the next one. Even flawless on the tap-in form. <laughs> 
Hole 11 is a par 3. Another double mandatory. You are throwing through multiple gaps here. It gets very narrow as it gets towards the pin. I kind of like the route that the drone just flew where you have a late turning shot um, out to the right. You see a lot of ladies just throw something straight that hyzers out pin high to the left. Another one that's just so hard to park this hole. You usually feel pretty good if you have any kind of a putt. Kristen a little off the line. Yeah, she she's short, but yeah, maybe a little early out of her hand or something. Should be an easy par. It is kind of weird controlling the nose angle because you are throwing a little bit downhill. It's easy to do what Cy did here and leave it just a little high. Although she did get under everything. everything, yeah, yeah. And she's gonna be pin high left, which yeah. is a These fine spot. These branches are so bushy. You even touch one, it just takes everything off your shot. Yeah, it just kind of slaps you down. Busy with a fresher. <laughs> I mean, it's a great disc for this hole. Something fast and understable that you can just flip up, let it ride. Yeah, messy. Master thrasher, we call her. No <laughs> one calls her that, but maybe we should. Ooh. Oh, look at this and turn. The finding a route oh, that I didn't I loved think of. it. Yeah, that Man. was, let's see. It's close to being good. I think that was, oh, it was a trespass. Man, oh, I wanted to see that fly. <laughs> Kristen just gonna lay up on the right side. Hannah from nearly 50 feet. Mm. Gives it a little bit of a run. Come on, walk it in. No. Dang it. She's all over all it. All over it. She's got some kind of like, if, if Kristen Tatar is like a like a panther vibe with her <laughs> eye focus, what what large <laughs> hunting cat would Missy Cannon be? Mm. Think about it. I'll think about it. Sai missing on her birdie attempt as well. Dear little handkerchief is flapping about the wind. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's for, a wind read. Yeah. Good tapping from Hannah. I know it's gotta be frustrating. When you get out here and you're just a few over par and the holes start dwindling down yeah, and your chances start, it's, I start it's easier to stay on the, yeah, it's easier to stay on the birdie train than to get off the bogey train. Yeah. Or even, I don't even call it a bogey train. It's, it's just not, like you yeah. want to get under par mm -hmm. and you're running out of time. Yeah. It's like a dream where you like can't <laughs> run fast enough. Kristen with a pretty commanding lead at this point. Juliana continuing to have that great round five down through 11. Here we have hole 12, 380 feet, par three, slightly uphill. It's got that mando tree on the right side, about 150 feet off the tee pad. Um, you gotta stay left of that, which forces a couple of different gaps. Yeah. So we'll see what they do. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, I've seen a lot of lines taken on this hole. This one is really at the max range of a lot of the FPO distance, and the line is not particularly clean or mm. open it's a tough one yeah Kristen had the birdie yesterday but she did not find the gap today and that will be a bit of work for her upshot I gotta give a shout out to Ratana Meekum who threw so many rollers today and she went roller on the left side got to the circle and made the putt and it was so sick that's awesome yeah so I gets a huge kick off that tree yeah. I mean she should be fine over there mm -hmm. this is one of those holes where if you're gonna be off you you want those trees to kick you like yeah, way, really far away. way far away to either side. Mm -hmm. You're correct. Very tough to scramble from in the middle of the tree line. Oh man. These ladies are having a hard time finding the gap on this hole. Not they the more easiest out. gap. That's well, that's true. I mean, to hit it just right to get the birdie. Mm -hmm. It's not the, if you just want to hit the gap and play for par, I guess it's not that hard, but they're all trying to throw, you know, pretty yeah. max power. And the wind can be a little tricky as well. Yeah, no one getting off this one clean. Kristen having a relatively open look, from this angle at least. Yeah, she makes that look pretty easy. Yeah, she might be in like circle's edge, 28 feet around that. I think she's a little closer. Okay. I bet you a dollar. I bet you a dollar, <laughs> yes, I was waiting for it. Oh, Hannah's sneaking through. Getting inside the circle. That squirrel mm -hmm. likes it. 
Or did it like it either way? I don't know. It does look a little threatening, Squirrels maybe. Squirrels are really friendly. Yeah, okay. I think the ball golfers have been feeding them. <laughs> Don't give me a lot of hate by saying ball golf, okay? Oh, yeah, they like it if you call it stick golf, actually. Really? Yeah, they, that's what they love. That sounds worse to me, but okay. Sigh <laughs> <laughs> with a pretty little upshot. That's what I say if someone says real golf to me. I say, mm. oh, do you mean stick golf? <laughs> 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 Hannah with a kind of awkward, wide straddle. Oh, man. Good effort. Okay. I might owe you a dollar. <laughs> and that's, what, like, right that's like 20 It was feet right though. in between. Yeah. No, it was, I mean, it was like 20, We're both 26. Right. We're both right. We'll see. Oh, all right, easy. <laughs> all right. Solid saves yeah. for being pretty early off the tee. Hannah, the only one not quite able to save it, feeling that bogey train pressure. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Let's just watch this for a few minutes. No, go back. <laughs> is a par 5. It's downhill, 930 feet. A little bit easier to reach than the other par 5 we've played. There is some mandatory, maybe just one mandatory on the left. You can see it on the screen there. You want your first shot to get uh, off to the right as close to that tunnel entrance as you can. Then you are combating this OB line on the right as well as the woods line all the way along the left. Distance wise, very reachable, very fair par 5. Um, I guess I forgot to mention the tee shot is super... Um, not super low ceiling, but you do have to throw under one limb, so it kind of dictates how you need to throw this shot nice and low, like Kristen's doing, and turning. That's solid. Yeah, there's also that over-the-bush turnover shot as well. Mm -hmm. So I may or may not take it, depending. The wind's also kind of just swirling out there. Oh, yeah, there she goes. There she goes. Damn. That's got to be a, a ballista. Uh-uh. No? What is it? A vandal? lucid vandal. Ah. See, she's so good with that understable stuff. Having that much control over a vandal. Yeah, those are touchy, but she had great height and mm -hmm. angle. Missy taking the low line. Really good shot. Hannah, it looks like her trespass again. Yeah, dang, she's like just caught so mm -hmm. many of those branches barely all day today. Yeah. I always like to look it's at a... the branch war zone mm -hmm. <laughs> of the commonly hit branches. <laughs> all the fallen soldiers. Yeah, it's not a course where you can really be off by a little bit. Mm-mm. Because it's not like she's throwing terrible shots or anything like that. It's just everything's just a little just bit off. Just enough. Just enough just where enough. You, she can't even get the birdie, mm -hmm. and then par becomes difficult. That was a solid recovery shot, though. Kristen with a nice Kristen, forehand yeah. to the tunnel. Kind of surprised about the forehand there, but she might just be trying to give herself a good look for the next shot. It's very positional on this hole. Yeah, I think not getting too greedy and just getting into the gap is a fine play. Big arm Missy here, way down the fairway, taking it wide, Probably, I think typically you do want to take it wider around all of the trees yeah. and push that OB line more. She'll have kind of a technical shot from in those trees, most likely. There we go, Sai. A little bit more commitment, but still within those trees. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Too. That kind of faded hard. I don't know. That OB line just 
I feel like feels even kind of scary when you're telling yourself throw at the OB. Your body's like, no, no, but no, I don't want to. It's not safe. That was a really pretty straight shot from Hannah. Yeah, I think she finds circle two with that one. Yeah, Kristen's still in a great position. Mm -hmm. She did get some friendly ground play. But she can just throw a simple hyzer. I love how wide that is. The green's kind of skippy up here. It is. Whoa. Wow. So kinda. a lot of people give it like the safe hyzer that lands mm -hmm. at the basket and like kind of skips long. And often into that woods line too. Mm -hmm. It's high with a pretty difficult lie here. Hmm. Solid effort. Finds a couple of limbs. Yeah, really any forward motion on this hole is good. It can get a little bit of a tricky line on the left side of that basket, though, with all those trees. Oh, <sighs> dang. Looked like a good angle from Missy. She's now throwing four. I feel like Missy's just been, like, circle two or just outside for all these birdie all looks. Do a Missy. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna give Missy like a like a lynx for the the focus in her Ooh. eyes, right? Like, kind of cuddly, and, and you wanna you wanna like yeah. pet it, but it's still dangerous. Watch <laughs> out, Hannah with a floaty little run. So I was kind of like a straddle look. Oh, cool shot! All right, finds that gap in between the trees. Kristen for another birdie. Dang, seven down through 13. That's nuts. Yeah, super clean. It's a dream round. For us, for her, it's like <laughs> a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Increasing that lead, little yeah. by little. Can't stop, won't stop. Very few mistakes, if any. Here we have pole 14, 520 feet, par four, double mando right about here. They're really just trying to push um, some sort of fast driver through those initial trees where the mando is and give yourself an upshot to this basket, which is on a slope. Not really fearful of a lot of rollaways on this hole, but I'll put a pin in that for later. <laughs> yeah, careful. <laughs> As soon as you say it, it manifests in real, <laughs> no. real life. This is definitely one of the easier birdies on mm -hmm. the course. Another one of those where you're like, not feeling that great about getting the par. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, you just, you just want a clean look, at mm -hmm. least at the putt. There's such tiny gaps on the second shot that you're not too mad if you hit a tree. But if, if you aren't even close, you're like, okay, come yeah. on. You got to penetrate into the trees a little bit. Downhill. Whoa, look at this. That's incredible. That's probably our vandal again. Do you want me to correct you or? Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? It's a ballista pro. <sighs> I can send you the she link makes, to the. I don't know how list. she makes 14 speeds look so slow and nice. I know. Paige Shoe does that too with I, ballista pros. Yeah. I've never understood. It looks so chaotic when I throw a 14 speed. <laughs> That's a great shot from Missy. You don't really have to be a bomber on this hole to get through the mandos. Dang. Hannah That's getting a good roll away. Up. It is. So she'll have a clear look and mm -hmm. can still birdie from there with a really good second shot. Maybe lining up that bigger right side gap. If you do that, though, you need a very overstable skip finish. Come on. Looks oh, solid. it looks like it. Was that a standstill? Yeah. She stood still and she threw that massive hyzer. Yeah. Had great power. Okay. She's pin high. Has a look. I wish I had that standstill confidence. Missy throwing something slower speed. I like Missy's idea there. Just throwing something a little faster into the side of the hill and it skip up. Not contending with any of the branches or trees. Kristen just picking one of these gaps. 
kind of the biggest one on the left gets yeah, and it's really about what it is when you get up there is just picking whatever the biggest gap yeah. is yep because you're going to be within circle two most likely oh man sigh so far she up has here such a kind of an eagle look but uh mm. finds the tree it looked like it looked like she was kind of trying to give that a run i mean it's yeah. a, a safe look at it because it's uphill behind it now long look for birdie Mm. Right shape, just a little left. And win with the birdie look. Come on. Oh, dang. Crazy to miss left with that tree right there. I feel like that always happens. Like, oh, I need to Anheuser yeah. right around a tree and then you miss right. You're like, how? Did, there's not even room. Confident birdie putt for Missy. She said, get in there already. <laughs> yeah, she's having a really clean kind of middle and back nine. Mm -hmm. Kristen for another birdie. She doesn't even need him. <laughs> Just extending that lead. So dominant. So confident. She's not doing anything fancy or cute. You know, it's not like she <laughs> gets know. out of position. She's like, I got to throw this in from the fairway. It's very smart disc golf. Yeah. Not trying to get cute. Mm -hmm. She's a professional. <laughs> Solid birdie putt there from Missy. Juliana, six down through 14. Sai so moving down to a tie for third with Paige Pierce, who's four down. This is a fun one. Hole 15 is par five. Downhill shot through a tunnel. Usually you're gonna see a turnover uh, as far as you can get it. Second shot, you wanna get up on this flat golf teeing area, um, ideally a little bit left of this tree, and then just pitch up over this out of bounds, tall grass nettle area that is a little bit wider than it looks and it's a blind approach so it is a little bit easy to get tangled up in that tall stuff if you're not careful uh, forehand is a great play here you don't need a ton of distance mm -hmm. to get the birdie you just need to get confidently out of the gap yeah and i don't know i don't know about you but i had a headwind on this hole yeah it was a, a little headwind. bit of like right to left as well and yep. that's kind of the thing about all these holes that change direction dr drastically from the tee pad so it's like you have one wind facing the fairway and then you get up to your upshot and mm -hmm. it's completely different. Yeah, it did change a lot with all the elevation and large trees and whatnot. Pretty. Beautiful. Do you want to guess? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, I like this game. <laughs> I'm scared. Ballista. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's on the board. That was a teen speed. Just to be bomb. able to throw that out here is and, crazy. And just keep it turning, too. Yeah. Hannah, more my style of like a flip up, then drift mm -hmm. with that trust pass. That was really nice. Yeah, this really is a one disc kind of course. Yeah. Missing I know. With the thrashers. And, well, that's her everywhere. That's a bad example. But you know what I mean. Yeah, Missy. <laughs> that's a bad example. <laughs> I know. I had a uh, caddy today and. Um, like, he started just handing me the same two discs. And yeah. it's like, why do I have a whole bag full? Mm -hmm. Missy, maybe just a hair short of the top of the hill. Yeah. Um, can make for some uncomfortable footing, but she's still very close for the birdie look. Yeah, I think it was a little bit of a headwindish too with this upshot. So you have the combination of the blind landing zone with a wind that gets under the nose of your disc because you're having to throw up and you have to throw and it kind of takes yeah. everything out of it so you're like do i throw hard how like what do i do here hannah looked like she put a lot into that yeah i love it and she's like i'm sick of this <laughs> i want these birdies dang this. it yeah that was confident she's mm -hmm. playing this hole really well and sigh like way almost, almost to the second landing zone like she could think about an eagle mm -hmm. if she really wanted to. And you saw how much power she put on that upshot, and she's just on the walkway. Uh -huh. So it's like you could definitely put a lot more power on it from the fairway, but you okay. just never know. So Missy almost on the top of the hill, and she can see the very top of the basket. How far do you think she is? Like 150? Yeah, at least. That was perfect. 
And it is a relatively straightforward upshot. I mean, 100 feet, anybody can do that. Yeah. But with that OB, that tall grass, you have to throw it high you and can. you can sail it easy. You can't. And you can't see where it ends and then starts again on the backside. Mm -hmm. True blind shot, even though you can see the top of the pin, yeah. you can't see where you're landing. Great shot by Kristen. And if anything, you want to push the it too far totally. if you're going to go OB at the same time. Man. Man, it's just like a birdie on a big juicy platter <laughs> and any amount of anything off is not good. There we go, Hannah. There we go. That'll feel good. It's a perfectly played hole. Sigh with a floaty little eagle run. Very nice. Sweet. A couple of those eye looks. Ooh. Oh, weird to see All Kristen right. almost make a mistake. I was concerned. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> the latitude basket was like, oh, my bad. I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> it's starting to look like a star frame. I love it. If, uh, if you're going to get what one, a good this hole. is a good one. Yeah. I love this hole. I like the design a lot. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. <laughs> $25 to edge. <laughs> <laughs> Love that reaction, Cam. Mm -hmm. Kristen, nine down. <sighs> nine of them. <sighs> That's crazy. Juliana, seven down. Also crazy. That's so good. Well, 16, 356 feet, par three. That OB right in front of the tee pad doesn't really come into play that much as long as you get through those initial trees clean. The basket is line pretty much there's a tree right in front of it that's about 45 feet away that blocks it so there's a couple angles to get to the basket you can throw the straight shot or you can throw like a turnover with something really overstable and let it skip in looks like that's what Kristen was trying to do it doesn't yeah, really come she, out she turns that saint pro over a little bit too much and with the wind it kind of picks up every now and again you don't feel it all the time you never really know what direction it's going in, but it's just enough of a difference today that it's yeah. mm, affecting people's shots. That's a great shot by Missy. Uh, perfect. Okay. That was a 2022 Tour Ooh. Series Thrasher. Very different. It probably is very different, actually. <laughs> Sigh. Damn. Yeah, getting out of those branches. Really, the only bad lie you can have is, like, inside of those branches behind that tree. Yeah, pick a lane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hannah, stay up. Kind of low air bouncy gets over the OB. Yeah, she'll be contending with those fat trees. Ooh, they went early Sought release. Early. Oh, very dramatic mm -hmm. <laughs> head tilt. Kristen's going to have a 100% scramble from the one hole she had to throw in that Oh, on. man. That is funny. <laughs> Very nice. Sigh from just outside 40 feet. Oh, Cash man. money, baby. That was that's great. That's a solo effort. She's so smooth out of the hand. Yeah, that's her whole game, definitely, in a nutshell. Yeah, save par. Come on. Wow, look Missy. how close she got. I know, yeah. right? Oh, Missy, no. Oh, I think that's the closest she's been for a birdie look the whole round. Dang. Sometimes that happens, you're like, I'm so close. Oh, yeah. You you almost don't take the right amount of focus. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's tapping, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bit of frustration for Hannah. Very understandable. Missy's going to stay at Come that on, Missy. two down. She knows. She knows. It was almost a not smile for Missy there. Yeah, that's rare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sigh with the lone birdie on that one. Fantastic putt. Sigh gets to four down on the round. It's tied for a second with Juliana. Hole 17, par 4, 5, 11. 
first and foremost you need to get out of this tunnel uh, anywhere in the grass is fine second shot definitely has some danger you are shooting over ob uh, the basket is perched on a hillside if you're going to make a mistake blast long of the basket you do not want to land short and then have to take it from the short side of the ob um, definitely some roll away potential on the putting green yeah there is an ob green long of the basket but it's you have to really smash it so far <laughs> these bystanders are like oh all right oh. these ladies can crush i guess that was a Huge rip from Psy. Yeah, it's about 240 feet to get out of the woods, and that's really all you're looking for from the, um, the drive here. Is that all it is? Yeah. Oh, interesting. It feels just slightly longer. You just feel like you're just longer because it's, yeah. you really got to pipe it. Um, and it's easy to do what Missy did here and catch that tree. and then Well, it's kind of a turnover shot. Yeah, pretty much. just slightly, though. Yeah, just enough. I like the trespass choice here understable 12 speed kind of just bust it yeah not quite enough power on that one from yeah. hannah this guardian tree here with the super low branches is, is almost impossible to stand in dense and actually hannah gonna be short of that but okay. just playing for par at this point yeah just getting herself out there kind of be long a long upshot look yeah that shot for when it's for a birdie you're like oh no problem i'm yeah. pretty close but then when it's for par you're like oh boy <laughs> mm-hmm Kind of tough. Yeah, I want to get this real close. <laughs> Kristen's second shot here. Something mid, overstable mid. Yeah, maybe a verdict, I'm guessing. Um, goes a little bit deep, which again is the good mistake, as long as she doesn't blast past it on the putt. She's been pretty solid with the putt, though, so we don't expect any of that. Hannah laying up nice and close. Really well done. Yeah, right outside the bullseye. That's all you want. Missy with a thrasher. Oh, it's just autopilot, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Was that a buzz? Great question. They usually just put the driver. <sighs> buzz is a great, Lame. great guess. Well, that's what we're going with. <laughs> straight mid. So I go with the hyzer shot. Ooh, 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 flashes okay. the chain. Just trying to run it, no big deal. I'd rather it be under the yeah, I like the hyzer idea for the upshot, just keeping it high and letting it kind of fade in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. Oh. <laughs> Maybe if she kicked higher. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Kristen coming back for another birdie to go 10 down. A little low. A little soft. Oh, well. Sits right there. That's what's so great about her putts. Her misses are just yeah. Stay close. Oh, it's just right there. Really great par, Good save. par save. Both Hannah and Missy playing it as well as they could after the early tee shots. Sai keeping it clean with the par. One more. Yeah, one more massive hole. One more, yeah, thousand <laughs> footer plus. <clears throat> hey, hey it's that's Cox. me. Whoa. Please leave this in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our final hole, hole 18, par five, 1,036 feet. We have two double mandos that are both within these two tree lines that we're flying through. You really just want to get as much distance as possible. I mean, just throw it far, you guys. And once we get to the basket, it steps up the hills. We got OB on both sides. That shorter red basket is the FPO basket. Massive hole. You just played 17 holes, <laughs> walked 40 miles. At and, least. And now you got to launch everything you've got on this final hole for a chance at birdie. Yeah, this played, did it play as the hardest yesterday? Do you remember? It was in the top three for sure. Yeah. Great shot from Cy there to get things started. Yeah, yesterday was the first difficult. Today, the third most, so a few more people got it. But it was like another one, very few birdies. Some of these ladies will have birdie looks, but it takes 
you know, so three much. shots just like that. Mm -hmm. So good so far. And it is pretty positional as well in this hole because you don't want to be on those trees. You don't, and even if you're not in the trees, you could be behind like the tightest little gap and you're like, yeah. well, this is all I got. Mm -hmm. I see keeping it kind of straight. Pretty. They all seem to be about the same area. Yeah, the tee shot's definitely the easiest shot of mm -hmm. the three drives you need to throw on this hole. Yeah, the mandos, I mean, they're really just there to be there. I think the left side mando is way more important. Definitely, and the second left side mando can, can come quite a bit into oh, play, yeah. I think. Ooh, Missy. Love it. Get in. Did she catch a tree? Like I tree? think she's in that second tree line a little bit. Okay. I like the angle. <laughs> <laughs> she likes it. Yeah. You know, with a low kind of skip forward, she might be before the tree line. You know, it's crazy. There's three holes out here that like equal 3,000 feet. <laughs> Man. All the par fives. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that could be like a nine hole disc golf course if you planned yeah. it well. <laughs> Sigh, a little She seems pinched. really left side, mm -hmm. isn't that? Mm. It, I mean, it'll just be kind of a sharp hyzer. I'm not sure if she'll have much of an angle to get to the pin. We'll see. Yeah. Kristen's drive. She's got, I mean, the best looking position you can be in on this hole. Yeah, definitely looking for kind of a turning shot. That like stays this. off of that. It'll be amazing. Yeah. That's nice. Good. That's pretty good. That's pretty <laughs> good. Hannah's third. Dang, Gosh. all day with those dumb branches. Yeah, and they need to cut her a check for all the course maintenance she's been doing. <laughs> Hannah's still going to be in a good position for a nice, easy par. Yeah, the mando tree has some pretty low branches, so you want to reach the basket so bad. You want to get up on the hill, but you can't throw that high. Mm -hmm. So it's about navigating these the fairway in a way that you're giving yourself a look at it. And I mean, Sai has no chance no way. really for the birdie here. No. Just because she's so pinched off. She can save the par, though. Yeah, totally. Should be pretty simple. I didn't see how close Missy got it. I think she'll have <laughs> some kind of long look at it. And Kristen's going to be in just an unbelievably yeah. comfortable position to attack this one. She's probably throwing something really fast so she can throw it low and get up on, up on that hill. Let it skip up. Yeah. She'll have a really long look yeah. for the birdie. It leaves it a little short, but you can't always be perfect, it turns yeah. out. Yeah, I would take that every single day of my life. Yeah, I would probably <laughs> pay like, you know, my third shot landing right there. I'd, I'd take pay it. like, yeah, 20 bucks for a shot like that. And asking it to go left, and it does. Yeah, nice approach. Hannah, four over on the round, a little bit of a rough day. We're going to see more of Hannah win, though. Watch out. Oh, for sure. Sai with a perfect approach. Very solid round from Sai. Yeah, she's bogey free, right? Bogey free four? Down? Mm -hmm. She's just so clean, mm -hmm. so smooth. And she sneaks up on you with all that distance that she gets. <laughs> Missy definitely trying to run that. Dang, didn't quite get that big Missy putt or throw in today. It's always the best. And the rare 18 birdie look. Kristen said, I'll, I'll settle for I'll a nine I'll settle for down. single digits. Bogey One free the double nine. Though. Pedestrian. <laughs> and a good confident final putt. Even if it is right outside the bullseye, you like to make your... Yeah. Final little scary putt. Totally. Two people birdied this hole today, Ella Hansen and Kat Merch. Nice. Man, that's so, so good. Well, this will wrap up our second round and our last round at the West Course. Tomorrow we move to the east side. There will be a 50% cut after the third round. Uh, I don't think these ladies will have to worry too much about that cut line, but... Mm -hmm. It is happening. Be aware.
Kristen Tatar with her confident lead. Sayananda staying up there. Juliana Corber sneaking up mm -hmm. as well. And Paige Pierce. Yeah, Juliana, such a good round. Yeah, I love the diversity of skill on the lead card. That's gonna, it definitely going to be a fun card to watch oh, yeah. tomorrow. It's going to be a, a large variety of lines and mm -hmm. shot shapes. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's yes. been just fun. It's been a fun Super time. fun. Yeah. We yeah. love you. Um, we, you have to say it this time. You oh. We? <laughs> no, you, you have to say our name, our commentary oh, Okay, name. our commentary name. Thank you for watching Coxcomb Commentary. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm Erica Stinchcomb. <laughs> I'm Rebecca Cox. See you in the next one. Oh, no, we did it so early. Thank you, Founders Club. <laughs> we are just still here on screen and doing great, generally. Amazing. Right? Yes. Nice day today. Beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. Please keep it up, Portland. Ideal. Yes. Yep.